Hi, let's see how to set up Artisan version 1.1.0 for use with the TC4 roasting system. So I've started off with a factory reset to get all the settings back to defaults. Most of the setup will be done in the config menu and the roast menu. I'm going to switch my temperature units from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Now, under the config menu, select device, so we can tell Artisan we are connecting our TC4. Depending on how you've connected your thermocouples, you might need to change the order of the channels. I use channel 2 for ET and channel 1 for BT. Up the top here we'll activate the control option, which adds the control button in the main window. We won't be using the control button in this setup video, but I'll demonstrate that in a follow-up video. Now select the extra devices tab. This is where we can set up Artisan to receive the optional parameters sent back from the TC4. There's three TC4 options to choose from. TC4 3.4 is used if you have the third and fourth thermocouples connected. Five and six is for the heater and fan parameters. And seven and eight is for the set variable and the ambient temperature. I'm not using channels three and four, so I'll select five and six. Set label one to heater and label two to fan. You can select colors for the fan and the heater if you wish. I'll add another device for channel 7 and 8, which will be the set variable and the ambient temperature. And if you scroll across to the right, you can enable or disable any of the LCDs or curves for each of the input parameters. OK, that's it for the device assignment. Click OK and the serial port configuration will appear. If you have your Arduino connected, you should see the serial port listed in the list. Most TC4 setups will use the default board rate of 115,200, but I'm using a serial to Bluetooth module which uses the 19,200 board rate. The rest of the options should be fine at their default settings. Now if you have your TC4 connected, you should be able to click on up the top of the main interface window and Artisan will attempt to connect to your device. Once it's connected, the parameters should be displayed over the right hand side. Down the bottom we have the parameters for the extra devices that we set up. Channels 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. I like to display a decimal point on the LCDs, which you can do from the Tools menu under Extras and then enable the decimal point option. Click Start and Artisan will start logging your data to the graph. By default, the read interval is 3 seconds, which I like to change to 1 second for the TC4. Click off to disconnect from your device and change the sampling interval from the config menu. To set up buttons and sliders to control your TC4, go to the config menu and select events. I'm going to change event type 1 to fan and event 4 to heater.
on the buttons tab we'll add one new button and I'll set this button to turn the heater off. Set the event type to heater. Set the action to a serial command and enter the TC4's serial command for the heater which is OT1 and then a semicolon and the value 0. You can set the button colour if you wish. Now jump to the sliders tab and activate the fan event. Select the serial command for the action and enter the TC4 serial command for the fan which is OT2 then a semicolon and instead of the value we'll put the squiggly brackets. Then repeat for the heater with the serial command of OT1 semicolon squiggly brackets. You can adjust the minimum and maximum values for the sliders here. To view the buttons and sliders, go to the config menu and select buttons and also sliders. We'll reset the chart, then demonstrate the sliders and buttons. Click on to connect to the device. And then click start to start logging. Sliding the sliders will put an event mark on the chart and send the serial command to the TC4. You can see the heater and fan parameters have been returned from the TC4 on the extra device's LCDs. Clicking the heater off button sends the serial command we set up to turn the heater off. Don't forget the important step of saving your settings so you can load them again later if you need to. Thanks for watching. I hope to do another video demonstrating the automated control options with the TC4.